Welcome to the New York International Auto Show 2019. We're here at the Mercedes-Benz booth and what we see here is the world premiere of the new Mercedes GLS, the S-Class under the SUV. And now we're going to have a short look around here at the booth of Mercedes, what else they deliver. And after that, we walk around the whole show to see all the highlights of the other manufacturers. The GLS is celebrating its world premiere here in New York with the V8 engine on board. This is the so-called GLS 580 4Matic and that car delivers 400 89 horsepower, 700 newton meters of maximum torque, and thanks to its 48 volt system, that car also supplies with another 22 horsepower via its so called EQ boost system. But there will be another six cylinder diesel engine available in two different power levels for Europe as well. And of course, the GLS always feature a nine speed automatic gearbox and all wheel drive. The new GLS has grown by 77 mm in length and 22 mm in width. On top it offers 60 mm more wheel space, which causes a lot more space for passengers on the rear seats. As standard, all GLS now feature a leather interior. On top there are two 12.3 inch screens combined to one widescreen monitor. And the GLS now also features the new Mercedes infotainment system MBUX with all its modern functions. Volkswagen presents here in New York the concept car of the Tarak as a pickup. And what I really like with the car, something unusual. If you fold down the rear bench, you can load your stuff into the car and into the cabin as well. I think this is quite unique. First time in the US is the new Range Rover Velar SV Autobiography. This is the top version of this um, Range Rover. And under the hood, you find a V8 five liter uh, supercharged engine 550 horsepower and this accelerates in only 4.5 seconds from zero to 100 kilometers per hour so and now i found uh, gone here chief designer of mercedes gone have a question Hi. you brought the new gls to new york an icon i think and i really like the color what is new regarding to the exterior design of the car yeah as you say it's a perfect fit presenting our new gls class here in new york um, I mean, this is like the S-Class of the SUVs, a, a huge car, you can see the height, um, with a lot of presence, a lot of status, a very bold car. Uh, on the other hand, it's still along our central purity philosophy, you can see it's a central car, it's a beautiful car, um, so we, we combine both aspects of these, and I think with that, um, that makes this car, like you say, a true icon. And when we talk about the side and the rear of the car, what happens in detail? Well, we've changed the entire proportion. We put it on bigger wheels now, so the car has an incredible stance. Um, we still kept that typical rugged SUV um, um, silhouette and proportion, um, but by rounding it off, it, it, we, we make it very appealing. And with the front, I just see new lights? Yeah, this is the new headlamps, of course, like everything else new. You can see these three bars are like a symbol for the S-Class segment, like we do it at the limousine too. So that clearly indicates here comes the S-Class of the SUVs. So I just ran into the so-called Carl Man King. And as you see, that is not a stealth fighter. This is not the new Batmobile. This is the most expensive SUV of the world, about two million each. But important with the car is look at the interior. Uh, you do find fine leather, a big screen, and loads of gold as well. And the car is based on the Ford F550 and it features a V10 Ford engine with about 400 horsepower. Very important, money comes from China, but it's built in Italy. And what I've just heard is you can also drive it road legal now in Europe as well. The length of about 5 meter 20 of course benefits the boot as well. If you fold down all the seats, that boot size increases up to 2,000 400 liters of maximum capacity and you can have the car as a seven seater if you want but if you order the single seats like here you can fold down each and any of them easily electric every gls now comes with a new air suspension as standard thanks to the new 48 volt technology you can also order a system called road surface scan with this, the GLS will scan the road in front of the car to adapt the dampers for perfect comfort. A premier here at the Porsche stand is the new 911 Speedster. This is a limited edition. Only 1,940 Ace cars will be available, so you better be quick. And that car delivers more than 500 horsepower. I think more important is that car comes without any kind of a roof. So if you want to drive it, you need the sun. Subaru is celebrating the world premier of the sixth generation of the mid-size SUV Outback. The car features a 2.5 liter engine with 182 horsepower, but I think more important is Subaru says the car should be more quiet, more comfortable and more safe as well. 
Nissan is celebrating 50 years Z here in New York because that's the model which was presented 50 years ago uh, at that time as the so-called Datsun 240. But because of this celebration here and the anniversary, they present an extra special edition of the 370. And this is it, the original Datsun 240Z. And aside of it, this is the anniversary model. This is the 370Z. And you can have that in two different colors. Unfortunately, we have no idea about how powerful it really is. Another world premiere here at the Mercedes-Benz booth is the new GLC Coupe. Very important, that car is just a facelift, but now it features MBX, completely new engines and more driver assistance and safety systems. That was it from the New York Auto Show 2019. And I really do like the show a lot because it's quite tiny. You don't have to walk that much to explore all these beautiful cars. But my absolute favorite is here at the Mercedes-Benz booth, which is, which is the new Mercedes GLS, the S-Class of the SUVs. I really do like this car a lot. And I'm really looking forward to drive that one in Utah quite soon.